Welcome to Dead Man Talking. Tonight's story is a short one entitled I Saw Something and I'm Not Sure What to Do. Let's get straight into that. Last night I sat on my back deck with my guitar just like every other Saturday night. It was something I've done since high school. Normally, I was in the house by nine o'clock, but I decided to stay out a little later. I sat on my back deck on the edge of the forest. It was the only place where I could get some peace and quiet away from my family. Around 10.30, I think, I heard a scream. Now, we have a lot of small kids as neighbours, so I'm used to kid screams. But this, this was a different kind. It screeched high and then it slowly fell into silence. I almost thought it was my mind, but then it came again, straight from the woods. I sat my guitar down and reached inside the door to grab a flashlight. I trotted down the wooden stairs and stopped at the forest entrance. There is a small creek that runs through the middle of the woods and sometimes, if everything is just quiet enough, you can hear it trickle through the trees. I stood still and I could barely make out the water. Then the scream came again. It was haunting, but it ended almost with a happy tone. I haven't ever heard anything like this before. I flipped the outside switch on for the floodlights to give some extra light and then I stepped into the forest. About a hundred paces in, I came across a creek. I turned and could still see the house, but only the lights on the side. I faced the quiet creek and studied it with my light. Nothing really seemed out of place and this was the direction that the scream came from. I was about to then turn and go back when something caught my eye. Across the stream was a body, or what looked like a body. The leaves were covering up some of it and my light was strong enough to shine the whole way. My eyes darted around the body to try and find something that would explain why it was there, but nothing. The bare legs and feet laid half on the ground while the feet rested in the creek. I hollered out, hey, to see if it would move. The slight breeze that had blown through the trees stopped, as did the bugs. I should have turned there and then, but my curiosity got the best of me. I watched as my legs began to move. I watched as its legs began to move. There was something a little off about them. You see, where the knee was, instead of bending normal, it bent backwards, like a bovine creature. But the feet looked normal. Then, the thing turned over, as if to get up. And that, my friends, is when everything went so fast. I saw a beastly looking face, and its eyes didn't reflect like normal eyes do. They just took in the light. Then a thing stood up on two feet and I knew this wasn't human. I turned and ran. I heard the screech behind me, then a gated run. I broke through branches and hurled fallen limbs all the way back to my house. I ran inside and shut the door. I looked back to the woods only to see two black eyes looking at me through the brush. It slowly backed away, and then that was the end of it. I don't want to tell my parents in the event that my little sister finds out, but I do need to tell someone. I feel like no one will believe me, but I know what I saw. I'm not sure what to do. I'm really freaked out. Wow. Hope you guys enjoyed that story. Please do like, comment and share. And as always folks, be safe. 
not sorry.